So we're here uh, checking out the Tolino here at the Frankfurt Book Fair. And hi, so who are you? I'm Daniel. I work for Tolino Media, and I'm author relations manager at our self-publishing platform. And uh, who are you? I'm Simon. I work for Talia, and I'm here today to work for Tolino, the alliance behind the e-reader. So you have a bunch of uh, e-readers on the market. What is this one? Um, this is the Ecos. It's a pretty, it's a fairly new one. It's the largest model we have thus far. So a 7.8 inch. Exactly. Is it a 300 DPI and very high resolution, right? It has the same resolution as our other Ecos. Yes. So a high high uh, resolution, very very good reading experience on this one. Exactly. So uh, what's the price on this product? Um, this one is around 230 euros. And you are in the shop. Which does not work when okay. you have Wi-Fi. Um, yes, it's, it's 230 euros. euros. Ish. It usually changes because Tolino is an alliance of many different booksellers or e-reading stations. Yeah. Um, and uh, you have uh, lots and lots and lots of books on the store. How many books? About two million. Two million. Yeah, just regarding the German titles. I don't know how much um, English-speaking titles we actually have, but the majority of these two millions are German titles. And uh, which one is this? Uh, that's Tolino Shine 3, which we launched uh, this Tuesday for the Frankfurt Book Fair. So, so it's the new model of the Tolino Shine. So um, is this a good price? It's around 120 euros. Um, which I think is really good for a fresh launch product. It's the most uh, cost efficient reader we have. So a 6 inch? Exactly. And 300 ppi as well. Also 300 ppi. Very fast uh, refresh. Yes. And a good reading experience. But does it have a front light? Yes, it does. So you can do like this. And. Uh, you can you can have a what's called a, a you can also so uh, how is the reading experience on uh, e-ink compared to book? Um, it's not that different actually, which I really really like. When I'm, if I read with a tablet or on the computer or anything like that, it's usually really straining on the eyes and I get headaches after about half an hour or something and on the e-ink I don't get that and it's just much more enjoyable it's but not but how's it compared to paper real book it, not much it's like the same not much at all which yeah. is really the whole point of e-ink do you read uh, real books anymore or you just read on Tolino's? yes I do because I'm a trained bookseller so uh, of course I grew up with print books as well um, but the interesting thing is that the ebook is actually more or less substituting the paperback because when the paperback was invented in the 1960s, it was meant to be portable and uh, more cost, cost efficient than a hardcover. And so most publishing houses actually see a decrease in their paperback sales, which is compensated by an increase in their ebook sales. So today it's mostly hardcover versus paperback or ebook. So uh, the German book market is stable? Yes, it is. Really? Yeah. Because uh, is it more stable than other countries? Or? I'd say so. I mean, um, there has been a decline, actually. So this year, uh, or last year, actually, we had um, about 9.13 billion in total revenue for the entire book sector, which is less than the years before. But still, uh, for many, many years, we always re revolve around about 9 billion. So we never uh, fell uh, below 9 billion, actually. So yes, there's a certain decrease in, in uh, annual revenue, but the average amount of money that a customer spends on a book is actually increasing. Nice. And you have uh, other versions too? Uh, so yes. this one is a Vision 4 HD. What is this, 6 inch? Exactly, it's the same size as the Shine 3. It has the same resolution again. Um, yes. Yeah. It's still HD display pretty much, um, 300 ppi. This one is waterproof actually, you can see over there we have a... Uh, yeah. This is a real one in the water. Yes. And you can actually use it. Nice. Yeah. So That's it works. That's cool. Um, so, um, 
Uh, did, did you say you're working in the self-publishing industry? Yes, that's right. So, uh, what's going on with self-publishing? How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been working with Alinea Media for the last three years. And we're a direct competitor to Amazon Kindle Publishing, that probably uh, some people of your, your channel might know. Um, so, in contrast to Amazon, we believe in an open book market. So, uh, let's, let's sit down. Uh, so, um, how, is it, how is your share compared to Amazon? It's somewhere between 45 to 50 percent of the, the entire book market. And Amazon has about 50, so we're close. So you're quite close to Amazon in Germany? Yes. Uh, and uh, in other countries, it's not like that? Or? No, not at all. You know, the, the Tolino Alliance um, is a brand or, or an alliance between the biggest German booksellers. You know, kind of, uh, kind of the Waterstones and Barnes and Nobles of Germany. So everyone collaborates in order to publish, and, uh, to develop and, and um, uh, nurture that brand and only with the combined power of all the bigger big bookseller chains you're able to um, yeah compete against the uh, Amazon and its Kindle but all these uh, publishers that are part of the Tolino media they're collaborating there are they also on the Amazon system or they are exclusive to Tolino? no um, I don't know if I just said publishers I meant booksellers sorry booksellers yeah yeah so Books, um, of course, booksellers all have their own uh, retail stores in Germany, their own online shops. So these are direct competitors to Amazon. Ah, so the booksellers co collaborate here, and how do they get a share of this? Um, well, <laughs> that's a, that's a little difficult to explain, actually. So every bookseller is, of course, a direct competitor. You know. Um, the b biggest three German bookseller chains are uh, Weltbild, Thalia and Hugendubel, uh, among others that are still part of the alliance. So it's always a balance between your own business as the Thalia bookseller chain, as the Hugendubel bookseller chain, and common concepts that you develop in order to establish that Tolino brand. Um, so it's not real about getting a share out of that brand, because the brand is, is sort of, um, it's not just marketing, but you know, it takes the combined effort of managers of all different kinds of, of chains to actually develop the brand. But the readers themselves are sold independently in the bookstores of Talia, of Google, etc. So they sell the, those readers in their stores? Exactly. And they sell many? So how many are sold? Is there any number? Um, that's actually not in my disclosure. It's not, I, not public. I can't, I can't tell, I think. But it's big, um, big number? It's a fair amount, yes, it's a lot, and it's increasing as well. So it's over increasing. the years, yes, it's steadily growing number. And what we also found out is people actually read more overall. So people who use an e-reader and well, books and paper, they tend to read more than just books or just e-readers. So, uh, so all these stores are getting a, a commission or say, I mean, it's like selling a product when they sell that reader. But how do they, they're not publishers. No, these so are they, booksellers. They, they don't make uh, a share on the ebooks that are sold? No, these are, these are sold by publishers, of course. So the publishers sell the ebooks e directly. And uh, how many, you have two million? The, the publishers don't uh, sell the ebooks directly. Of course, there's, there are online shops and many publisher websites where you can purchase ebooks directly from the publisher, but you can also uh, purchase about two million ebooks on the different Tolino stores, on uh, in the e-commerce stores of Tolia, Hugendubel, etc. So, how many uh, self-published books do you have? Is that a secret? Um, actually, I don't know the number from the top of my head, to be honest, because we're not the only um, way to self-publish your book into the stores. We're the best way because we're part of the Tolino Alliance, so you get better revenues if you publish things directly with us. But there are also other distributors that you can use to get your books into the Tolino store. So you would have to find out a combined number of all the self-published titles from all the competitors out there on the market. And unfortunately, there are no official figures that combine uh, all the self-published titles. So let's say I have a book in German right now and uh, I want to publish it. So how, mu how much does it cost or how does it work? Okay, so publication with us is free. You need to create an account at our website tolino-media.de uh, and then you can upload your book either as a readily uh, made EPUB file if you already have one or you uh, need to upload a Word document that needs to um, follow some specific 
um, guidelines so that it can be converted automatically into an EPUB. And the publication is free. And if you decide to, um, if you decide for a price of at least uh, two euro and ninety nine cents for your book, then you get seventy percent uh, of the revenues from the net book price. And uh, below two ninety nine, you will receive forty percent of revenues. And you have total control over the publication of your book. So you could upload your book today. Um, cancel it tomorrow so in order to remove it from the shops and then publish it again the day after. So it's totally up to you and there are no like certain contract uh, requirements. That and the price can, can change over time? You can change the price but because we have fixed prices on books in Germany, if your book is also available on other platforms that for example distribute your books to competitors such as Amazon or Google Play or whatever, you need to change the price on all platforms so that your book costs the same in every online shop. So maybe you can do a special price, 50 cents in the beginning, and then uh, totally if you possible. get uh, more and more, you can say 2.99. It's totally possible. Actually, we are not so fond of very low prices for self-publishing because we believe that first the book has a certain value. There is so much work and time that goes into a book. and if you if you keep releasing your book at a lower price then you're sort of educating your possible customers to wait for the next special pricing and they will continue to purchase the book only when the price is low and the second thing is that compared to Amazon we have a different kind of customer base so the Tolino shops are usually the people that still go into stationary bookstores in your local city and talk to your favorite bookseller employee so these people are less price sensitive. They believe that um, price is also sort of a quality statement. So if you set the price too low in our shops, it might be even be counterproductive. Uh, so so uh, what's next? Uh, is there any subscription plans available or is only buy the books? Um, for Tolino, there's sort of a subscription plan. There's a program called Tolino Select. And this is a model where um, the booksellers from the different bookseller chains actually select 40 titles per month. So these are personal recommendations by an editorship. And it's not a flat rate because we already have two flat rates in Germany. One being uh, Scooby, the other one being Kindle Unlimited. And we want to differentiate our subscription model from those flat rates. So the idea is to take that recommendation approach that you're used to from your local bookseller and take it into the e-commerce store and encourage people to try out special recommendations maybe even in a genre that they are usually not interested in that much maybe get hooked onto the author and buy the other books from the author exactly so it's a it's a good marketing place especially for self-published authors because every Tolino um, e-commerce store participates with Tolino Select so if you get your book placed into the program, then you have um, a huge um, marketing spot for an entire month in all of the shops at the same time. So you're listed uh, very visibly on a special Tolino Select page and it's a good way to also get your backlist going. So uh, if we can stand up over here. Uh, so you're doing, uh, you're doing the, the demonstrations around here. Uh, would you say that uh, the Tolino e-readers are at least as good value for money as a uh, Kindle? Yes, definitely. Definitely. It's probably even better because we have the... Sorry, can you stay right here? Which means you can also rent books from your local library or stuff like that. Um, you get way more out of your money for the same reader, basically. So you get better hardware? better functionality, more resolution? It's pretty much the same. It's same? Still, at least as good? It's at least as good and with the open market you have a chance to get way more well, different books, way more passion. You can't uh, confirm or deny if you sell more or less of these machines than the Kindle? Well, I can't know actually because Amazon doesn't tell us. Oh yeah. Like, it's still, but this is uh, because I thought the Kindle market was a little bit um, hurt, uh, a little bit on the low. It's not like as if there was some kind of uh, downward trend a little bit. Is it not happening with it here with you? I haven't heard of a, speci um, a special um, trend of or up and down regarding our readers or uh, the Kindle either. 
So I think the ebook market itself is rather stable by now. Um, everything else is something you'd have to ask Amazon about and I doubt they tell you, <laughs> to be honest. And it's really, really important and it's great for Germany to have an alternative to the Amazon. What's so bad about Amazon? Well, it's not, not that Amazon itself is bad, but it's always dangerous to have like a monopole on anything. And Amazon is very good at developing um, technical solutions and innovative products. This means if you use a Kindle, then you're within a closed ecosystem and everything is seamless, the purchase, etc. And the downside is that you are not able to get out of that closed ecosystem. So you're always tied to a specific shop, in this case Amazon, and um, everything is protected by DRM and our approach is to say that you are not forced to buy your ebooks at one store. You don't. You're not even forced to buy your ebooks at the Tolino stores only. You can buy them internationally as well, as long as it, as you have an ebook in the ePub format. Then you can read it on the reader. And we believe in an open book market. And many German publishers also got rid of DRM recently. No DRM. Um, there still is DRM, but it's an increasing trend that DRM is going to be removed because in the end. Let's be honest, it can always be overridden by certain tools. You can just uh, and scan. Exactly. If, if you really want to, then you will always yeah. find a way to pirate the book. There's always and in somebody the end, scanning it's always, somewhere. It's, it's, just a, it's a, just a punishment of the honest readers. So and uh, in, in the family, are you able to share the e-books with the other people in the family? Yes. Or everybody has to buy one? That's possible. With the Tolino yeah. family account. Um, you can yeah. share on up to five different devices. Which means, for example, my mom and I, we use the same account for books, which gives us way more access to different books. Nice. Uh, is there a lot of uh, Tolino in the education and schools? Uh, do they have these readers or the kids? I think there are some school libraries using them and renting them, but it's not many. And I have it's mostly for the adults. Well, yet. It's a very yeah. young um, yeah. industry. I could say um, it's it's growing. It's definitely growing. And for Weltag um, des Buches, I had a lot of children in our store. And whenever I talked about the self-publishing and the e-reader segment, they were really interested. So I feel it's just it's catching on with the younger audiences, which is really really great. So it's been available the the e e-ink devices for five six years now. Pretty much. And uh, the self-publishing for two three years since uh, May 2015. And uh, only in Germany, or every German-speaking country can have it, or well, do you have we, other languages too? Um, our Tolino Media self-publishing platform is only available in German, but of course you can also publish with us if you're from a foreign country. Our interface is only in German, so if you don't speak German, you'd have to use Google Translate to find your way around the, the different upload forms. But if this is working great, why don't you have this worldwide? Why don't you? Uh, maybe people want to buy these in uh, France and well, there's e England. In those, and yeah. There's e-readers in those countries. It's just yeah. a different book yeah. industry. I was so only referring to the self-publishing platform. That's only exactly. available in Germany. But they can buy the Tolino readers well, over they there. They can buy the Tolino everywhere. It everywhere. also it supports a lot of different languages: um, English, French, Italian. It's already pre-installed. And if you need other languages, it's always possible to work a solution. Right. So it's been a busy book fair for you. Yeah. yeah. A very busy book fair. Con connecting with lots of self-publishing authors over here? Yeah, exactly. And what do you tell them? Um, well, it all depends on how much experience they already have with self-publishing. You know, we have our um, experienced authors who want to talk about marketing with us uh, and who tell us about their next project. So we already start making plans um, on how to support them and how to promote their books. <laughs> But there are also a lot of newcomers that are interested in hearing about self-publishing for the first time, interested in hearing about the difference between Amazon and us or our other competitors. So it's really a mixed audience and it's great to be here because we like to get in touch with authors personally. So are you going to get to 10 billion next year? <laughs> um, I, wouldn't, job, I wouldn't promise anything. <laughs> How many billions are you doing? Probably, That's out of my... Out of my um, information circle, you'd you have to ask to our managers for that. Right. Also, a few billion you can make, right? Yeah, On probably. Selling more machines. I feel like with the whole hybrid reading trend catching on, and also the um, 
deceleration of social life or your life overall. With, um, way more stress in your jobs and stuff like that. Reading will become a way bigger part of the everyday life of the Germans. So I feel it's probably increasing in numbers over the next few years. Do uh, your parents uh, love these devices? Uh, do, you have, do you have family that like... Uh, do, you, do you publish anything? No, I'm not an author. I'm not able to write a book. No? I'll leave that to the experts. But I guess uh, it's really cool when I, when I see my family, they love these kinds of devices. It's like... Uh, it's like they, they, in the beginning, people are like, there's no way. But then they try and uh, they, everybody loves it, right? It's what I tell everyone who comes to the store and there's a lot of people who are like, well, I prefer books and I would never touch an e-reader and I'm always like, well, first of all, you don't have to abandon books, you can still read. I do both. My mom does both and everyone I know, well, some people don't like to read on the train, but they can read an e-reader, stuff like that. And I always say, just sit down for half an hour try, fiddle with it, read a bit, read a few pages, and a lot of the time people are actually excited afterwards and they are really sold for the reading. Does your mom use this more or real books more? By now it's pretty much, it's the shine. Um, I 50, gave, 50. No, no, it's, it's the e-reading way more, more, more than because she always carries a purse with her and she can't fit many books into that so she always has the shine in her purse and whenever she has to wait like at the supermarket we have to wait for three minutes and I'm turning around and my mom has the shine in her hand and is reading continuing to read a book which I mean I really love I really like it because for me as a bookseller I always talk to her about what she's reading and gives me a lot of well way to recommend books to different audiences.